everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft Survival Let's Play episode. My name is Ramses. Let's get started. I'm starting off this episode in the desert that I've been mining stuff from. You can see right here, this is where I got all the sand. I promised I would show you guys this in today's episode and I thought I would just drop by real quick on my way to the blaze farm because as you can see my shovel is toast. I've already started digging over back at the monument and I've, I've even uncovered part of it. I dug straight down in the center and started uncovering it. Um, but my shovel's toast, so I need to go mend it up, which means I need to run to the blaze farm. But on my way, I thought I would stop by here and show you guys this insane amount of sand that is missing from this desert. Um, I mean, this was all sand all the way up to the nether portal. Like, nether portal used to be on the surface of the sand, you know? Um, and over here somewhere, you can see... A place where there's a lot of sandstone missing as well because I mined a lot of sandstone for the uh, excavation site project that we did um, oh which one was that the uh, I don't remember what number the episode was but the one where we uncovered the fossil and we built that excavation site this is where I got um, that sandstone from so I was clearing out a bunch of sandstone from here and then making some out of sand as well because you can make sandstone um, there's a temple right there. This is one that I looked in real quick. I don't remember if we ever did this on camera. I think maybe we didn't. It was already at the point where there wasn't really anything useful in there for us. Um, so it wasn't a very exciting thing. But anyway, yeah, this is the desert that's missing all the sand. Um, this actually isn't the only desert I used. There was one that I used for my first load, like my first four double chests. I did at a desert nearby the monument that I don't have another portal to. I just happened to be nearby. Um, but yeah. That's, this is it. I'm gonna go repair my shovel now. I think I mentioned in the previous episode that I did some uh, changes to the blaze farm. I think you guys got to see this one where I made this three wide and put the uh, trap doors here so that the XP doesn't get caught in the hoppers. Um, and then in addition to that, I also built this system right here that is designed to uh, get rid of the blaze rods because we had honestly too many. Especially because I was using... Uh, this little guy quite a lot and he has looting on him in addition to some other things so I was faster to kill them with the sword so that I had sweeping edge but also I was getting a lot more blaze rods to the point where we were like overfilling things so I built this little uh, dumping system right here that just gets rid of stuff for us that way we can just throw blaze rods out into lava if we want to anyway um, I'm gonna hang out here and mend up my shovel as promised, here's a look of what I've been doing thus far. I did dig like almost all the way down right there, but then I realized I wanted to clear it kind of level by level. That way I could get rid of the water with, with sponges, which I actually haven't brought over here yet. But so I started digging down in the center until I reached the monument. And I'm going to clear the walls from here, like all the way over to the walls. And then I'll start clearing the monument like level by level. That's sort of my idea. Also, I might, I don't know. I don't exactly know what I'm going to do yet, but we'll, we'll figure it out. Basically, I'm coming down here and I'm just getting rid of a whole bunch of sand. Like this. Every now and then I have to deal with ghost blocks. Um, luckily, in 1.13, they're getting rid of those. Or that's so I hear. But yeah, I'm just going to keep at this. Keep digging away. Um... I've been listening to podcasts and stuff while I work, so, you know, it gives me something to do. Because um, this is pretty grueling work. But I want to get this thing cleared. And, yeah, I mean, that that's one of my goals is get this place cleared. So, here we go, I guess. Well, guys, this is a completely uncovered ocean monument. I got rid of all the sand on top of it. There's still some sand in the middle right there. And there's actually still water underneath it, like I showed you at the uh, end of the last episode. But, yeah, I got rid of all the sand. It took a very long time. I didn't really do a lot of progress updates while I was doing it. I was just trying to get work done. And actually, I did develop a new method for how to get rid of the sand quicker without burning through my shovel's um, durability quite so quickly. Um, so actually, I can show you that. This is, this is going to hurt. Oof. Yeah, that really hurt, guys. Okay, anyway, so imagine this is sand that was covering the monument. I mean, I guess technically it is sand that's covering the monument. But anyways, what you do is there's a special trick. If you put a torch under a pillar of sand, 
it will automatically turn all the sand blocks into items like that. You got to be quick when you're putting it in there, but you can see it all falls down and turns into items. So all I have to do is go around to every single pillar and go da 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 beep da 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 beep, and then over time, all the sand is gone. It took a very long time, um, but I'm here. And the next thing that I want to start doing is actually, we're not going to keep this monument here. We're going to get rid of it. We're going to dig it all the way down to the ground. So uh, I want to start working on that. Killing all the guardians. I brought my sponges over here and I brought some furnaces over here so we can dry them out. And I want to start cleaning because there's still water inside the monument. And I don't think I'm going to use sand for that. I think I'm going to use sponges. But anyway, I want to start working on that. So I guess that's my plan right now. And we're going to see how that goes. All right, so my plan is to work down layer by layer, starting from basically the uppermost point until we have no more monument left. So I guess this is the idea right here. I'll start uncovering this thing, and then I'll... If I get attacked by guardians, I'll just try to kill them. I brought my bow and my axe with me this time because I know we're probably going to have to fight things. All right, well, I guess it's time to start um, placing in sponges and things. I'm not really sure what the best way to do that is without it all just filling back in again. So I'm just going to try to kind of guess. Well, slowly but surely this seems to be working. I think I used way too many sponges though. So I think I'm going to have to remedy that by using less sponges somehow. I'm still kind of figuring this out. I haven't had to use sponges a whole lot before. So... I'm still kind of figuring out how this is supposed to work. Now that I have successfully cleared the top room, I'm going to start digging it away. Get rid of the sand there, and then just start digging down until I hit water again, basically. And then I'll clear that room, and then I'll just kind of keep going, I guess. This is already turning out to be a pretty long, uh, long-winded long process, so I'm thinking that this episode's going to probably take a while to come out, but I want to give you guys, like, I would rather have quality over quantity, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. I know my episodes have been coming out less frequently lately, but it's because I want to actually finish the job that I'm doing, and I'm doing bigger jobs now. And unfortunately, I'm not, you know, those of you who are my subscribers know... I don't have a lot of you, you know, this isn't my full-time job like some people on YouTube, so I can't really afford right now to give 100% of my time to Minecraft and to this YouTube channel, and that's unfortunate because I really do love playing it, but at the same time, that's not, you know, what it's for right now. What what I'm doing with it is, is I'm here to have fun and play, and hopefully you guys have fun watching me do so, I suppose. But that does mean that I won't always have all the time in the world for it, and, and I'm just going to have to be okay with that. And I guess I guess you guys are too because you don't really have a lot of say in the matter. But um, but yeah, I just, I just wanted to mention to you guys that I would rather – and you guys – tell me in the comments if you think something different. But I would rather do episodes where I actually get things done less frequently than episodes more frequently where I don't really get things done, um, if that makes any sense. I really do prefer – quality over quantity so i'm gonna keep moving forward as though that is also what you guys prefer um but let me know if you think something different in the comments if you you know i, I don't know what it is if, if you would rather see more episodes about a certain type of thing or just more episodes in general just drop me a comment and i promise i'll read the comments on this video um so i can get a feel for how you guys feel and what you guys think about this i know especially lately my videos have been uh, much farther apart and this one's probably going to be even farther apart because I have so much work to do and I'm tired of it just being placing and digging sand I actually want to get rid of this monument by the end of this episode so we'll see if that happens I mean it will happen I, I guess it's not we'll see if that happens it definitely will happen uh, just the question is when this episode will come out because I think um, I think it's more important than 
more important than having some special schedule that I have to adhere to above anything else, it's me enjoying the work and me having, you know, the time to actually give you guys good quality videos and things. Um, so that's what I'm going to focus on. To that end, um, you know, I might not actually release this episode until Friday, which means it will have been, you know, a week and a half between episodes, so... I'm trying to avoid being shot at right now. It's kind of a nightmare. I'm still trying to figure out this whole sponge thing. Yeah, this is turning out to be a very long process, and I feel like I'm probably still completely overusing these sponges. God, I gotta get out of here. Um, and so I'm probably gonna bring you guys back when I'm actually made it a little bit farther. I'm gonna stop recording for now, and once I've actually got a fair amount of progress, I'll check back in with you guys again. But goodness this whole project is just taking forever man i want to kind of get out of here soon next episode i do not want to be here anymore that's the goal don't be here anymore in the next episode boy okay i'm gonna quit recording for now guys i found that other sponge room that we saw when we were in spectator mode um which is actually really exciting because that means we can have even more sponges so i'm pretty stoked about that um this is going okay I guess just in general um, it's definitely like slow going work it's not something you can do super duper quickly um, I get shot at a lot I was kind of used to not getting shot at now that I spent so much time digging out the sand and not having to deal with guardians I forgot what it's like to have to deal with the guardians and that's kind of a drag but this is what it looks like right now I'm I'm digging down this this layer right here um, to uncover all the other rooms underneath this layer and then I'll go through with the sponges in each of those rooms and uh, clear them and I've done this with a couple floors already there are so many guardians in here though so you can see we're down about this far I guess it's about halfway down the monument, but it gets bigger as you go down, so I'm not really halfway done. Anyway, I'm gonna keep working. Well, everybody, this is what we've got. I did most of this off camera just because it was just grindy work, you know? Uh, doing the sponges in order to clear out all the water and then digging away the temple. We still have a little bit more work to do. Um, underneath this prismarine right here is more water. I didn't get sand underneath the ocean. So, you can see underneath here is still loads of water. But guardians don't spawn here, so it's going to be safe. I just need to clear away the top level, and then I'll probably do a little bit more sand filling, you know, to, uh, to clear it out. Because I do want to clear all the way down to the ocean floor. So I'll have to get underneath the temple as well, but I don't know if you can tell from my hotbar, my tools are toast. So I'm going to take a break from this and I'm going to go mend up my stuff at the blaze farm and then come back, dig this all away, pour the sand over it, and then we can actually maybe start working on, uh, on what's going to go here. I, I don't know if I'll work on that in this episode yet or not. It kind of depends, but I do want to clear this thing all the way down to the ocean floor, so I know I have to get at least that far. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys, this is a completely flattened ocean temple. Oh, and the other thing I want to show you, actually, it's up here. Hold on just a second. I wanted to show you guys our final count on sand. Obviously, there's still some sand over here on the edges, but that's minimal compared to what was in the inside. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I guess I didn't fill these ones. Come on. So, what was that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, almost 18 and a half double chests. And then we have this one, this one, and this one are all full of prismarine blocks. And I might have some more. Yeah, I've got some like random fish and sea lanterns and sponges over here. I did end up with 64 and 47 sponges. So I actually have quite a lot of sponges from clearing out two ocean monuments. 
Um, but yeah, that's a lot of sand. 18 and a half chests? That's crazy. I can't believe I forgot to put some in this one. That's kind of funny, actually. Oh, boy. This was a huge project, and it's still not even quite over with. Okay, I'm going to head into the nether. I'm probably going to heal up, like, all my stuff. My boots have taken a little bit from me falling, but not much. Axe barely taking anything. The bow has uh, mending on it, so when I'm killing things, I'm usually getting XP, so... I have done quite a lot of work since I last uh, recorded anything for this episode. As you can see, I've dug all the way down to the ocean floor. Um, yeah, I, I left the pillars for now because they're actually a reminder of where the spawning area for the guardians are. Because guardians don't spawn underneath the temple, it's just where the temple was. And the area down there on the floor is underneath the temple. Uh, one thing I also discovered was the fact that there, somewhere around here, must be a slime chunk. I think probably in the corner that I'm in now, or somewhere over here. In fact, let's open up our, uh, so I can actually see the chunks. I showed the chunk borders. This is F3 and G. For those of you who want to know, you can actually see your chunk border. So I'm guessing... One of these chunks over here, probably this one, although maybe it could be the one over here against the wall, is is a slime chunk, because I've been noticing slime spawning over here somewhere in this area against the wall. Uh, I don't really know what, what, if anything, I'm going to do with that information. I might just leave it and build a slime farm somewhere else, or I might build a slime farm here so that this becomes a guardian farm and slime farm area that we can go to I don't really know yet. I still have to decide. But the next task... Here, let me, let me hide the chunk borders. There we go. The next task for me is to actually build a guardian farm here. And I'm not going to do most of that on camera. I think a lot of it's going to be done off camera. I will link some videos in the description that I use to guide me in building this farm. Probably some stuff from Nembom, who produces some really, really amazing farms. Um, yeah, because because this won't really be my design. This is just going to be kind of some basic tips from Nembom. I uh, I won't I won't go walk you guys through it, but I will show you guys maybe a couple steps along the way, and definitely when it's done. Um, but that's definitely my goal to get done in this episode because I'm tired of working over here. I want to be done. I want to go do something else in the next episode. So I want to get this farm built. That's my goal. I've dug all the sand down. I might also get rid of this stuff. And I may, I'm probably also going to get rid of the pillars, just not yet. I'm going to wait until I get a little farther. Anyway, uh, here I go, I guess. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start building. And I'm back. This is what I have so far. I've done a fair amount of work since I last recorded, made some plans. I watched some of Nembom's YouTube videos to get an idea of how I wanted to do this. Um, this isn't going to be the most efficient farm in the world, but it's going to be pretty good. I, I'm not done yet. I need to put the water in the spawning space up top. Um, so that they actually have somewhere to spawn because the only water in it... Oh, hello, little slime. Um, oh, one other thing. Speaking of slimes, I put this here. I added ourselves a little iron golem. Uh, the slimes come and try to attack it if it's within range. And if they're big enough, he'll also hit them. Uh, and he stays up there on top of the cactus. It works pretty well. And they also get killed by these things. I might put in some hoppers here as well and make this like a little mini slime farm. I don't really know yet. It's too much effort for right now. Right now, I just want them out of my way while I'm building. Uh, a couple of them wandered over there, but all the big ones have been killed, so I'm not in any danger or anything. But yeah, this is my plan. They are going to spawn up in the upper section and then fall through these air blocks. That's this section here, and the water is going to push them to the center where they're going to fall three blocks and then four blocks of lava and then another three blocks into this water down here and get pushed up against this wall where I can you know, you know, whap at them through this little hole right here, and the XP will get pushed through this little hole right here, um, ideally. It probably won't work perfectly. Some of it's going to get caught in the hoppers, but that's okay. I've got my blaze farm for XP as well, and eventually I want to build an enderman farm as well, which will be my main XP farm for the season once I actually go to the end and build that. But for now, this is what I have. Uh, it's becoming nighttime, so I guess I should probably sleep soon. 
Um, and then I'm gonna actually put the water in here and put the top on it and decide kind of where I'm gonna go from there. But yeah, that's what I have for now. Just thought I wanted to check in with you guys. It's a pretty basic design. They spawn in the water, they fall down, get you know hurt in the lava to soften them, and they fall down with just a handful of hearts left down here. And we're gonna like attach you know a sword to the wall in an item frame that's gonna have like looting and sharpness on it. That way I can kill them in one hit. But yeah, uh, there we go. And I'm back. And the farm is for the time being finished. I know it actually, it doesn't look like there's water in there, but there actually is water in the top level. You can kind of see it when you look through the bottom part of it right there. This looks completely clear, but actually the whole top section is full of water and then there's leaves on top. Um, I put a sword right here, I named it the fish skewer, and I've started using this thing and I've been getting I guess a fair amount of drops from it. For some reason, all of a sudden, things stopped spawning. I'm not sure why. Maybe I need to get more distance from it? I'm not sure what the actual distance needs to be. Nor am I sure why things have stopped spawning all of a sudden, because just a minute ago I was getting loads of them. Whatever. I have no idea. This isn't intended to be the most functional farm in the world anyway, so... I think I'm probably pretty good with how it is. I'm gonna, I need to eat some fish real quick. But yeah. Yeah, I think, I think this is gonna do it for now. I think probably that's all I really wanna tackle in today's episode. In between episodes, I'm probably gonna dig away these prismarine pillars. And then eventually, not yet, right now there's some stuff I wanna get done back at the base, back at our house, but Eventually, we'll actually make this whole place look nice. Um, I don't quite know when that's going to be. But yeah, uh, for now, this is going to do us just fine, I think. You can see it from another perspective right here. Once again, though, for some reason, things just aren't spawning right now. They, re they literally were just a minute ago, and that's why I got all the stuff in the chest. It's kind of bothering me now. I'm not really sure why it's not working. Oh, wait, there's one. I see it. Okay, there it goes. See? Okay, so this thing's working. Sometimes I think I might just need to give it some space. It's probably not the most efficient farm in the world. I should at some point go through and look through the caves, like, around this area to see if there's, like, you know, under the ground, uh, un under the seafloor, see if there's any caves that need to be lit up or things like that. I bet there are, and I bet stuff down there is, is taking up the, mod cap, the, the mob cap. So eventually we'll go down there and check that out. But... Yeah, you can see down there we've got the, the Guardian hanging out, and I guess maybe he'll despawn when I log off, but or maybe I'll go kill them before I log off, but I guess this will be the end of the episode for me. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, sorry this episode took forever, but I wanted to be able to get some stuff done. Uh, in the next episode, we're going to go back home. We're going to start working on I have a new project I want to work on at home, and then maybe after that we'll come back here and we'll start prettifying this place and doing some building and stuff. I may do some work on it between episodes as well, but for, for at least a little while, I need to get out of here. Oh, and one thing I forgot to tell you guys, you see all these double chests around me? I did count. We have 18 and a half double chests worth of sand. So if someone wants to put in the comments how much sand that would add, like how many blocks that is, uh, be my guest. I'm not going to add it up right now, but it's 18 and a half double chests, just about, just, just shy of 18 and a half. Um, that's a lot of sand. And technically there's actually more in the walls that we may get back as well, because I don't think I'm gonna keep these walls being made of sand. I think I wanna make them glass at some point, maybe like a light blue glass or something like that. I think it'd be very, very cool. Um, but that's gonna be it for me today. I'm really glad, oh, you can see loads of them spawning now that we're over here. That's good to know. So maybe I need to like hang out up here somewhere for them to spawn and then go down there to kill them. That's a little annoying. I guess I maybe should have built the thing higher in the sky, but I wanted to build it lower. Anyway, I'll keep futzing with it. Maybe maybe I'll redo some rebuild, but I kind of doubt it. I don't need this thing to be perfect. Um, I just want to get some prismarine shards from it so I can have lots of prismarine and stuff. But that is going to be the end of my episode. It's been a long time since I've um, published an episode for you guys, like a week and a half. So sorry about that, but... But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was a lot of work. My next couple episodes, I'm hoping to not quite be such big jobs to do. So, yeah. Uh, in the meantime, I encourage you all to keep being your beautiful selves. I'm so glad. Those of you who stuck around and have watched all of this and 
have been interested in this whole Guardian project that we've been on. Thank you so much for sticking around. Please leave a like if this is the kind of thing you enjoyed. Um, absolutely, if you want to see more of my stuff, subscribe. I'm going to do some more stuff. Not right here. I'm so excited to get out of this area and go back home and work on some stuff back at the house. But until then, I am going to see you guys all later. I, you know, I love you guys. You guys are great. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this, and I cannot wait till the next coming episodes. I want to start putting my episodes out on a more regular basis, so I can't wait for that. Uh, you guys all have a great time keeping your beautiful selves, and I will see you all next time. Thank you so much. <laughs>